Hello everyone, I'm going to go over the Aura Chaos Golem build that I made, or the two builds that I made. Um, to begin with, I really can't say how much it would cost to actually do it, because I play in Standard and I play in the League, but obviously it's going to be more expensive in the Standard League, and it's going to be cheaper in the League. So. I do remember that the stat that I that I have in both of the builds was going for six divine in the um, league when I was playing in it um, a couple of days ago. So, and to begin the build, both builds are extremely extremely good at clearing maps. But you know maybe someone could help me out. But the the dam like the damage on the bosses is, is kind of sluggish. You can still beat them, but it, it doesn't feel as quick as I would like it to be. But I definitely think that both of these builds are very strong. And all right, let me jump into the first one. The first one is more defensive oriented. Um, you got primordial harmony. You have four of these. If you if you're familiar with the golem builds. You'll probably know it, but I'm going to go over for people that don't know. You need four of these. And where's the other one? There's one that um, gives you like a... Ah, here we go. This one right here. That gives you plus one. And then it says under it, it says if you have three primordial jewels, you'll get another golem. So it's pretty good to have that. And it, this as well is another good one to have. Because more golems is going to be more damage, a lot more damage. So you want go golem commander for your um, necklace. You want the the four primordials or the three primordials in this one. And um, what else did I have? I I I chose commander of the darkness because of the resist and the the buffs that you get from it. You get haste, and you get increased damage, which is very, very good. It's a great, great ascendancy to have. The ascendancies are Void Beacon, Withering Presence, and yeah. I usually always take these because they're so good. I, I love the Occultist, to be honest with you. I think they're... It's, I think it's the best for minion classes, by hands down, this this league. I might be wrong, but that's that's what I'm saying. So, and this these guys right here, someone on Reddit gave me the idea for them, and like I I totally freaked out. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> and like so I went and I. They were so expensive on standard. They were like a six, six um, divine and like ten divine. I'm like, oh my god! And I'm like spending all my divines and I'm broke all the time. All right, so let's let's look at the items really quick. The staff. I always use this staff. I think it's a great item. As I said before, it's going very cheap in the league, and it's. Pretty expensive and standard. The bone helmet, the the nine to sixteen cast damage to spells just sucks. You, what you want to really get is um, I'm not sure if you get minion damage, or but I would definitely get um, despair, increased despair. And the uh, um, the enchant on the helmet for this is wrong too. I apologize, but. You want you want cast golem damage. I believe it's forty percent. I chose this chest because it had a lot of spell suppression. It, it, I believe it has the highest spell suppression you can have for a chest that's in the league. I'm trying to make it to where I'm like in the league, so that's what I'm trying to do. The breath stealer with the um, enchant on it. The enchant is um, very good, very good. I would, I would definitely recommend getting it as well. The boots just resist spell, 
spell suppression. Um, this is another staple in my build. I, I, I love these, these um, amulets. I wish I had all of them, to be honest with you. The rings are just resist, They're pretty much filling out your stats. And the belt is as well. I usually don't use a normal belt, but today or last night I was working on it and I couldn't really find a way to use my favorite belt. So, and um, you got the flasks, you got the healing flask, you got the movement speed flask, yada, 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 yeah, 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 and resist, resist. So, that's pretty much a breakdown of the talent tree and the um, gear. Let's go over the skills. We're not just, yes, the skills. Okay. We got Withering Step, Enduring Cry, Empower, Desecrate. All of them are pretty self explanatory. Oh, got a whisper. Hold on, let me see what's going on here. Ooh, 10, ten Divine. <clears throat> nice choice. Very nice item. All right, back to the build. Just had to get some orbs. So, enduring cry is—it's going to be—it's re used for um, onslaught and it increases your armor as well. And it has a very nice heal. So, and it's instant, so you're not stopping all over the place. It's a really good ability to have. This is increasing your chaos damage. The withering debuffs like stacks and when you hit something a mob or like a boss i usually only use this on bosses unless i feel like i'm gonna get stuck somewhere and i'll use it for phasing the chaos golem is designed for dot damage so and chaos damage this is making the dot faster this is making it stronger and so such so uh, you know what I mean this is um another thing that I do a lot is I got the temporal chains and the despair and I'm trying to buff it as much as possible I really didn't get the perfect way I wanted to do it this time because I hate trying to get um, colored sockets on my gear it's so aggravating I wish I could just like transform it into what I wanted. Just give me all the like 500 of them and I could just make it whatever I want, you know? <laughs> all right, this is another one of my staples. I like being able to grip, like grip my um, minions and bring them towards me. Like in, in this build right here, I have, oh, is, is this the one I have it? No, no, it's the other one, but okay. And then I have Feeding Frenzy, which is a buff. It's like Onslaught. It's like a mini Onslaught. Attack speed, run speed, and all that. Zombies. God, zombie. Like, zombies, if they're not being used as a main damage source, suck. They die all over the place. Defiance Banner. Well, it got nerfed, but I, th you know, I, I was just trying to get some survivability in there. This is just buffs. We got grace, which is which is good for armor because I am using iron reflexes. And um, determination armor. Um, I I was using a different uh, molten shell, but now I think I'm going to be sticking with veil because 
the the veil buff is just so good. It's like you could interchange it. You could use a molten shell, then you could use a buffed one, then back to normal, and it, it works out very well. All right, let me jump to the um, DPS one now. To begin, the DPS one doesn't have zombies or an animated guardian, and it uses and it uses um, Zell. And what else is it? It uses a, it uses a dot one, the one that increases your dot damage. Um, malevolence, I think it's called. So let's look at the tree right here. Again, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just using two different buffs. Let me look to see what kind of the differences are. Wow, here we go. All right. Yeah, well, on the bottom right here, I got a bigger cluster pile up down here for this one, so I'm doing more damage with it. This is definitely more damage. It's practically the same thing as the other one, but it doesn't have zombies, and it doesn't have an animated guardian, and it has more damage for the golems, is it the chaos golems? That's pretty much all there is. And then the gear, I believe the gear is the exact same. It's the exact same. I'm just telling you the differences right here. Um, there's nothing different. Nothing. Um, oh, see, I had the right, right um, gem set up for this one. I had an power. So... And here's the difference right here, Zell and Malevolence. And no zombies and um, no animated guardian and, and that's it. Um, hope to see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed the video and be safe everyone.